Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? Kevin here coming at you with another video. Um, this is more of a review. Um, this is a Harbor Freight motorcycle carrier. It goes into your two inch receiver right here. This is um, heavy duty actually. It goes into your receiver. This right here clamps onto your um, onto your hitch and it actually clamps down and stops it from going like chattering going back and forth as a stabilizer. This right here is where your straps hook up to, and you'll see in the front there, that's where they hook up as well. And then your bike actually fits in that hole right here. One tire fits in this one right here. So the way it is, is you pull this pin out, this slides out, your wheel sits here, the pin goes over your rim and then clamps to the bottom of the wheel for stabilization, your front wheel. And then your back wheel just sits on the back here. That's pretty much it. And you strap it down. Now this can carry up to 400 pounds. And there is a few reviews on these online. And uh, this is the updated one. They had a chintzy one earlier. And what I mean by chintzy is, is very weak. The center part right here was all aluminum. And what happened was you put a bike on it. You'd rock it back and forth and it would just crack. But this is the updated one which is nice. And then this is the ramp right here. This is what you, you'd unscrew here. Loosen that up. You loosen up your wing nut. Turn that sideways. And then your ramp pops right off. And then on each end, there are these little pieces right here. Which grab hold of the ramp. That's right. They fit on just like that. And then you can drive the bike up on. Obviously it's not on a vehicle, but... It, it does the different angles and it's tapered on the end so it fits and then the bike can drive right on top of it and go from there so it's a real nice system it's got uh, two reflectors on it for vision so you can see it is uh, very sturdy and very heavy duty um, mostly aluminum frame the side rails and stuff for lightweight it, it does have a little bit of weight to it and then you can see up underneath here how it's bolted right to that plate six bolts hold it on they um they actually used which i'm very impressed with um i thought you'd be using grade eight but it's it's um this must be made in china because it's got 8.8 .8, um metric which is the equivalent of um what do you call it there grade eight so or just under grade eight so it's above grade five but below grade eight if that'll help you guys and you can see right here what it is. It's a 400 capacity, 400 pound. And be careful when you put these on your cars. Because the tongue weight on my car is 200 pounds. So we're going to, that's what I really wanted to do this video about. Okay. This is a, what do you call it there? 400 pound capacity. Now, I can't put my big bike on that, okay? So, I can't put my Virago on that. My Virago can go in this trail right here on the track because the weight is evenly displaced. And the tongue weight, what do you mean by tongue? This is the trailer tongue, okay? And the weight at this point right here for my car cannot exceed 200 pounds, Okay, so if I put that into the receiver on my car, this weighs about 50 pounds or so, plus the weight of a KE or a Suzuki or Yamaha. So let's see if we can find out how much a Kawasaki KE weighs. Um, what do you call it there? So we're going to check that out in a second. Okay. So now we look on our tag here. This is a 10 of 1997 KE100. And this bike doesn't have, let's see, gross vehicle weight is 537 pounds. At the, okay. 137 pounds. That doesn't sound right. This is not a 500 pound bike. Not on a good day. Oh, right yeah. Gross vehicle weight right here, 374 pounds. Okay, I don't know what that is. 
That must be what it can handle, what it can hold with the person on it. But the bike is 374 pounds. I'm going to confirm that on this frame here. This one is a 70-something G5. Right here, 358 pounds. So, they're right around 358 to 378 pounds. So that carrier is perfectly suitable to carry that um, that bike. Which works out great. So I wanted to touch base with you guys on that. So I got about a 50 pound here and there swing. So if I wanted to take that, it's going to handle it perfectly. Now on my camper, I'm putting a reese hitch on it. So this is going to be absolutely perfect. I could take one of my KEs with me in the back of my camper. Which is nice. Because that's what I want to do. So... I've got the rack, and uh, I can put the bike on it. So this is exciting. I've been looking for one of these. It's hard to find one that'll fit my dirt bike, you know. So there we go. Harbor Freight, guys. These things run about 130 bucks, 140 bucks, and you can get a, a coupon and get some money off of it. Um, I did a whole bunch of research on it last night. My next door neighbor hooked me up with this with a great deal, and. Um, so I'm very excited about wanting to do a quick review on it. And it's the Harbor Freight, um, what do you call it, the Hallmaster 400 pound motorcycle carrier. So anyway guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you guys have any questions or comments. By all means, please send them my way. Um, there is two versions of this. A 400 pound version just like this with the aluminum one. Stay away from that if you guys have a chance to get it for scrap. Um, for like 20 bucks, it's worth it's worth that um, or if you can use the ramps other than that Do not put it on your vehicle. It is a piece of junk This one's got the steel frame the updated one. This is the one you want um, So anyway guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe guys 908 subscribers. Thank you very very much. I just wanted to say that get that out there. Thank you for all your support um, We're gonna be doing a ton more videos and a ton more stuff and uh, we got some really cool projects coming on this winter. So anyway, guys, thank you very much. And I will talk to you guys soon.